Hey, Steve Bazek, Architect. Yeah, I'm out here at the Offsite Build Project. So today's talk, I'm gonna talk a little bit about headers. Now, been in this game a long time, 30 years. I remember first ones, built up headers, two by eights, two by tens, half inch plywood in between, all that good stuff. Um, but I've evolved a little and I do now, on most of our projects, I do what I call a pocket header. And a pocket header is where I put a consistent dimensional piece of LVL. In this case here, I think we use nine and a half inch LVLs. And then I rely on how many of them in a gang. Is it a single ply, two ply, three ply, depending on the situation. Now, this is a small little window, single ply works here. You can see the reason of a pocket header is to create a pocket. So we have our head plate there. Now, this was off-site um, framing, Harvest Homes. They, uh, I would say they're a little aggressive in the amount of wood they use. I mean, typically we wouldn't have to, you know, there's no need for the double plate up there. We could have got away with a single plate, but anyways, we have that single plate. We have a single ply LVL there, and then we have what I call the head plate, right? And that basically just closes off that opening. Um, but the idea of the pocket header is that we have an insulation cavity, right? We just don't build that out with solid wood and give up the opportunity to be able to insulate that. Now, I realize it's a small piece, but if I take that cumulatively on, say, the 30 windows in this house, it probably becomes, you know, a space close to, you know, this area of this particular wall right here. So it's not insignificant, but it's a small piece of the whole. And when you're dealing with energy efficiency, um, durability, all of the, the building science aspects, all the small pieces contribute to the whole. The whole is what's kind of making the project great, but the successes lie in all the little decisions that are being made along the way. So pocket header, single ply, you can see there's space in, in, inside here. Now the beauty of that is when the insulator comes to insulate this cavity, they can insulate that cavity at the same time. You're not asking the framers to mess around and get rigid foam and build out headers with rigid foam in them. You're actually allowing the insulator to do what the insulator does when the insulator does it. And the framer to do what the framer does when the framer does it, right? So I haven't taken anybody out of sequence. I haven't taken any special materials. We're using the same stuff we're gonna use in the same sequence here. I'm just asking them to build that pocket header. Now, the head plate allows me to get that head casing. And then you can see we have some cripples on the flat here that align with the cripples. That's that, you know, 24 inch spacing on the wall here that they pick up. Now, if I walk over here, you'll see this is a door, but we have a um, window down there that's very much the same. As we come over here, this wall is actually a foot lower than the wall over there. And because that plate height is lower, we had to put the LV or the header up a little tighter. We actually cut out the bottom plate of the uh, top of the double plate there. Um, but we still have the head plate, we still have the pocket. So the same rules that apply over there apply over here. It's just a smaller header because we had to squeeze this door in because we chose to aesthetically make this wall shorter. Now, if I go over here and I look at one of the bigger walls, the windows, right? So this thing's probably on the order of about eight feet. You notice that it's a little shallower here, right? And the reason that it's shallower is because I had to do a two-ply LVL for this because of the length of the window, right? The, Basically, the header is nothing more than a beam. The larger the span, the thicker or bigger the beam has to get. So we could have potentially moved to a single ply here and took it all the way up to the top plate and put in an 11 and 7 eighths or a 14 inch single ply LVL. And then we would have been in that same situation as before. So, you know, the, the thing about design and building 
and, you know, that I've seen in my 30 years is it's a constant evolution and understanding of what is it that we're trying to achieve and what kind of solutions are the right solutions that we can throw at, you know, the project and get a successful game plan. So um, pocket headers, you know, at least we have the framers and the insulators doing what they do at the same time, right? Um, yeah, I have to practice that one. You know, an insulator does what an insulator does when it's time for the insulator to do it. Um, say that real fast, 10 times. But the reality is, is that we'll still be able to get some insulation um, in here. We'll probably just end up um, spraying that with a closed cell foam. So even at this shallow distance of two inches, we're still gonna get upwards of, a, you know, roughly about R14. And remember in these walls, we have R9 on the outside. So even at the header now, we're at R23 plus or minus, plus the little R factor that the wall has. So let's just call it an R25 header system. So it's, uh, you know, we're, we're certainly upping our game there. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed that short talk on headers. Um, we can have a, a lot more framing talks, but uh, you know what I'm about to say. I'm Steve Basic Architect. This is the Offsite Build. Until next time, long live our buildings.